Today we wanted to put out a little video discussing some of the issues that have cropped up with the Boogaboo Butterfly now that it's been on the market for a little over a year. Before going into these though, I'd just like to note that every stroller has its own pattern of issues, that these are always more apparent with models that sell a high number of units, and that despite what I'll be covering today, I remain a big fan of the Butterfly, where I feel that its strong overall durability, good seat dimensions and storage, and relatively small folded size still make it one of the best ultra compacts on the current market. That being said, however, these issues have been reported by enough parents that I feel information regarding them ought to be available on our channel as an update to our review of the model. So, without further ado, the problems that I found commonly reported by end users fall into three categories, cosmetic wear issues, weak areas where there have been reports of broken components, and a single use or performance issue. And starting off with the cosmetic issues, the first sort of complaint that I've actually already brought forward in a few videos is that the fabric on the seat liner tends to pill, which is caused by friction, leading to broken fibers on the surface becoming tangled together. I've had comments from both sides here, parents reporting the problem and others saying that it's never happened for them, but it still seems to be something worth noting for parents who are bothered by this sort of thing, and is also definitely, in my opinion, a result of the type of fabric that Boogaboo has chosen for the liner, which feels more on the soft and comfortable side rather than chosen exclusively for durability. The second cosmetic issue that I've seen mentioned a few times is that the chassis gets scuffed and scraped easily, which to be fair, is not an issue exclusively with Boogaboo strollers, but which I understand is particularly annoying with costlier models like the Butterfly, where parents possibly expected a higher degree of resilience. Scrapes and scuffing happens when you bang your stroller into stuff. They can happen when you take your stroller in and out of the car, and they can even result from elements of the stroller rubbing against each other during folding. In my experience, all black versions of strollers scrape worse, since the metal components generally have only a thin layer of powder coating. But beyond this factor, it's all about use in my experience, and it should be understood that Boogaboo models are just as susceptible to this sort of problem as strollers from other brands, including many that are much cheaper. The second area of issues is reported brakes, where there have firstly been a few parents who've had issues with the brake system, with either the pedal snapping or problems with the pins releasing from the wheels. And while there haven't been enough reports of this as an issue, for me to consider the brake system as a specific problem area of the model, it has its pluses and minuses, but is generally well built in my opinion. I wanted to mention it here anyway, because these same users have had their chassis replaced by Boogaboo, and it's worth knowing that this is the sort of area where one ought to make use of that four year guarantee. The second braking area is worth a bit more discussion, and that's reports of the leg rest braking. I've been taking apart strollers for over a decade at this point, and the leg rest on the Butterfly is definitively stronger in both its hinged mechanisms and metal frame than the majority of other Ultra Compacts out there. But there is enough discussion here to suspect a problem, where the obvious culprit, in my opinion, is that the leg rest is intended to also function as a carry handle. And as a result of these reports then, I would no longer recommend using the leg rest in this way as this is likely the key source of stress, and unless they update the leg rest in the future to make it even stronger than it already is, it's better, in my opinion, to carry the model by the shoulder strap or just grip it somewhere else on the chassis. And for anyone out there who has had problems here, note that this is also the sort of thing that's definitely covered by the guarantee. All right, the last issue that I want to address today then has had the most reports, and it's not a wear problem, but rather a performance matter, where many parents are complaining of tipping, not the sort of tipping that results from the stroller falling over backwards with the seat reclined, which can also happen when parents hang bags from the handle, but rather a tendency for the stroller to tip sideways when steering, in particular with inclines and or when negotiating obstacles. This goes hand in hand with a general criticism of maneuverability, and while it partly has to do with the width of the rear frame in comparison to the height of the model, it's also very much about those somewhat too small front wheels, which prevent the butterfly from being a good choice for anything other than the smoothest of terrain, meaning inside environments or flat pavement, where even areas of a city that have a lot of broken sidewalks can give the butterfly some trouble. 
The tipping problem in particular seems to be more of an issue with older toddlers. And I'd note that, in addition to parents who've complained about this problem, there are also several other commenters who've defended the butterfly with regards to this issue, including one viewer who said they'd use the butterfly all over Edinburgh, which is not the smoothest city, without encountering this problem at all. Personally, I don't find the model to be particularly tippy side to side, but those front wheels are small and the back frame is a tad on the narrow side, and since this is something that people are identifying as an issue, I felt it important to get it out there as well and reiterate that the Butterfly is definitely a model where you'll want to stick to smoother ground. So those are the issues that I felt ought to be addressed. Before concluding, I'd again like to say that all strollers have common problem patterns that eventually crop up once they've been in use for a while, where the truth is that we could make this sort of video for any stroller out there. And despite these issues, I still do feel that the Butterfly is a good stroller, fulfilling an important niche in the wider ultra-compact market. If you have the Butterfly and would like to share your experience for future viewers of this video, please leave a comment below. In any case, we hope you found this video interesting, and if you did, we ask that you subscribe, as it helps us to continue making videos in the future. In addition, if you're currently shopping for a stroller, we have a buyer's guide on our Patreon page which lists a wide range of models that we recommend, with a lot of technical and lifestyle related information. You can find it by following the links in the description. Thank you.